According to many people, such as myself, the beach is seen as a very calm and serene place to go. However, many beaches are home to paranormal entities that emerge at night. This is Capitola Beach, one of many haunted beaches in California. It is a very beautiful beach to do so many things, however, be sure to avoid this beach at 3 in the morning. Many locals have reported seeing a grayish apparition walking along the shoreline at night. One local even claimed that he ran charging towards the entity. And after connecting with the apparition, he completely blacked out. And when he woke up, the tide had come rolling in. If he would have been unconscious for just a couple moments longer, he would have drowned. Be sure to follow, like, and comment if you've ever been to a paranormal beach before. Top haunted beaches in California, Baker Beach, San Francisco. Right off the bat, this area already has a lot of unknown disappearances. And apparently every day after sundown, a ghostly woman roams around Baker Beach at night singing a song. However though, some people believe that the woman's singing voice has some weird hypnotic power that will lead you into the ocean ultimately drowning you. And just recently, a tarot card reader slash psychic just visited the area and believes that the ghostly woman is linked to all these random different disappearances. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this beach in the comment section. And for more creepy content and the rest of the series, don't forget to follow. Stay spooked! The Most Haunted Beaches in California Part 3 Natural Bridges One of the most beautiful beaches in the Santa Cruz area looking like something out of a calendar. However, do beware going there at night. For some time now, residents have been seeing strange orbs floating around the beach. Those who are curious have decided to take photos of the light orbs and have noticed that within minutes of taking the picture, their nose started to bleed. And what's even weirder than that, 90% of those people who took those pictures ended up in the hospital the next morning because of inexplicable hallucinations. Maybe it's just because everybody there does psychedelics? <laughs> Let me know if you can go to this beach down below in the comments, and don't forget to follow and like for more creepy stories. Stay spooked! The Most Haunted Beaches in California, Part 4, Manhattan Beach Rumor has it that if you walk underneath the pier right before sunrise, you'll have a very terrifying surprise waiting for you. Locals have reported seeing dead children crawling out of the water at this time. But, as if it couldn't get even more disturbing, every local who has seen them crawl out of the water say that the dead ghost children start bleeding out of their eyes and their mouth the second their body emerges from the water. And as always, comment down below if you would go to this beach or not, and if you would, tag a friend who you would go with. Or tag a friend who you would force to go with you. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow and like for way more creepy beach stories and beyond. Stay spooked! Most haunted beaches in California, the finale, Moss Beach. Apparently, there is a spirit there known as the Blue Lady who walks across the rugged shoreline after a really crazy love affair. In the early 1920s, a young lady ran a speakeasy on top of the cliffs due to the fact that prohibition was going on, which is actually known as the Moss Beach Distillery, which is still open and operating to this day. Now, back in the 1920s, the Blue Lady would go and visit her secret lover at the piano bar even though she was married. Then one night, as she was walking across the beach, she was brutally murdered and her real husband was never seen again. And to this day, people still see her spirit roaming around, whether it's at the distillery or on the beach. Don't forget to let me know if you would go here in the comments and tag a friend who you'd go with. Ghosts, alcohol, and the ocean, who wouldn't go? And even though this is the last video for California, I'm still going to be doing haunted beaches worldwide, so don't forget to drop a follow for more. Stay spooked! One of the most beautiful beaches in Australia is also known as one of the most haunted beaches in the world. This is Jenny Dixon Beach. Apparently this beach is not haunted by only one, but two different ghosts. The first is an apparition of a woman who can be seen hitchhiking supposedly after a terribly brutal assault, which apparently took place in the 1970s. The other apparition you can see is another woman who is walking across the shoreline, supposedly crying about her lost child after a shipwreck. She can be seen with her arms stretched out in front of the ocean on the edge of the shoreline. Now this incident supposedly happened in the early 1900s due to the fact that the locals who have spotted her have seen her in clothing appropriate to that time period. But what makes this beach even more eerie to me is that these aren't evil spirits. They're both just really depressed over really unfortunate events. Don't forget to drop a comment, let me know if you'd ever go to this beach, and don't forget to follow because there are way more to come. Stay spooked! The most haunted beaches around the world, Kauipoa Beach. Also, I apologize in advance if I pronounce anything wrong, which I'm sure I will. Now, just to start off, the name of this beach literally translates to the Place of Thieves, which is on the island of Molokai in Hawaii and is now largely deserted. 
This now abandoned beach was actually once an ancient hideout for criminals who violated the tribal system and were facing death. Now, just a century ago, farmers used to actually live here, but they packed up and left for no known reason. Despite the fact that people have heard really crazy, really spooky noises around and have seen some really messed up stuff on this beach, there is no known one entity that haunts this beach. It is even said that the whole island of Molokai is completely haunted. There's even a rumor going around that there's a small populated tribe that still lives there and supposedly hates and tries to kill or even eat any visitors who go to visit the island. Don't forget to tag a friend in the comments to go to this island with. And don't forget to follow for more. Stay spooked! One of the most haunted beaches in the world with 66 deaths, headless ghost apparitions, and all stemming from World War II. This is Chengi Beach. Located in Singapore, this beach started to get some ghostly traction when 66 men were brutally murdered at this beach. All of them were tied to one another and forced to walk into the beach approaching the water. And the second they reached the water's edge, they were immediately gunned down and shot. Those who did not die from the gunshot wounds were left to sit and drown in the water. And to make matters even worse, all of the victims' bodies were recovered and then brutally hacked apart just to ensure death. Now, this is just the history of the beach. I will be posting part 2 in literally 2 seconds, so stay tuned. The most haunted beach in the world, Chingy Beach Part 2. And real quick, if you missed part 1, I would suggest going to watch it first. Now that you guys know a little bit more about the history of this beach, here is what people have been reportedly seeing and experiencing while at this beach. First off, there have been countless reports of weeping, wailing, crying, and screaming for help in the middle of the night at this beach with nobody else around. There have been the sounds of gunshots echoing across the water. Others have seen puddles of blood form bubbling up from the sand. Not to include the many times that people have seen heads bobbing in the water with no bodies. Others seeing headless bodies walking across the water. And others have even claimed to see a ghostly reenactment of what happened that night when the 66 men were brutally murdered. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if you would ever go to this beach and uh, tag a friend who you'd go with or force to go with you. Stay spooked. The Bermuda Triangle is known as one of the most mysterious places on Earth, covering over 440,000 miles of ocean and has been the cause of over 75 different plane crashes, disappearances, and hundreds of ship disappearances. Here are some different facts and theories about the Bermuda Triangle. Number one, it is one of the deepest spots on Earth. It has one of the steepest slopes and due to the fact of its deep trench, even if a ship or a plane were to sink to the bottom of it, it would be so unlikely for anybody to get to the bottom and actually find it. The Bermuda Triangle also has very high reports of UFO sightings and alien abductions. Many people even believe that it's a portal to lead you to different planets. Another thing that's very weird about it too is supposedly the US government actually owns that area. And apparently the US Navy tests their submarines and other weapons in that area. Stay tuned for part 2 coming in 2 seconds. Facts and theories about the Bermuda Triangle part 2. So in case you guys didn't know, the Bermuda Triangle starts off in Miami, Florida, goes to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and ends at the Bermuda Island. Now, despite all the different disappearances and accidents that have happened here, one of my favorite theories about the Bermuda Triangle is that it's actually the location of the lost city of Atlantis. In the story of Atlantis, there are supposedly rock formations on the ocean floor leading to it, which sounds a lot like Bimini Road, which is in the Bahamas, and this is what it looks like. The story also goes that the city ran off of these magical crystals that supposedly radiate different energies that will throw off navigational instruments used in planes and ships. What's even weirder is that a mysterious island appeared right in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Which is weird because islands nowadays are now actually decreasing in surface area. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below. Also, there may be a new series on Atlantis coming soon.